Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, let's talk about single page app and the routing in Swell.js. I mean, we talked about, we have discussed routing in React, routing in Angular, nested routing, I mean, lazy loading of the routes, split chunking, lot of things in the routing. Routing is not just like, okay, rendering the multiple pages on different links. It is a really a complex concept when it comes to uh, nested routing. Uh, capturing the attributes from the route parameter, passing the query parameter and uh, loading the routes as a lazy loaded routes which creates a web pack, a split chunk, a separate chunk, all those concepts are there. Let's talk about first the very basic concepts of the routing and for routing we are using Svelte routing. So there are other li uh, library also available in the Svelte.js to allow the, the nested routing and the loading and all First, let's talk about simple routing example. We are going to use router link and route. I mean, these words might be familiar because we use the same words in React or any other framework. Swelt routing. This as a dependency we can add in the package JSON. Swelt routing. Okay, and we are good. Now we can come back to app Swelt and here Let's say we are going to build a couple of components that we are going to say, let's say import home from and we are going to, we will be adding these, all these routes. Home Svelte, import another component, let's say about these two components and I have one base URL for the router and here we are going to export let url and here we are going to define our routing so we are going to use router and this is the base path which we will be getting from the parent component and inside this we can define all our routes routes are similar we what we, we use is a route and the path okay i'm going to load this on this forward slash path and the component okay for this i have a home component similarly i have another route and the path is let's say about component will be about component okay so what we want to do what we want to have is we also want to have a links on this home page right so we can have a nav link inside this we can have both the links so that user can click and navigate to these particular links. So we are going to use a link directive that will have this path. We cannot just redirect to this path using simple anchor tag. And uh, these will be the links and we can just simply say is, this is the first link with path home. We'll just put the link, okay, this is taking me to the home. This is taking me to the above. So similarly, you can create n number of component and just put their links there and this is name and it's inside router we can put that inside main and now we have home component and about component in the home component uh, i'm going to play with the pokemons a little bit so this is my pokemon name and what i'm going to do i'm going to use i'm going to make a sync call and let's say how we deal with the async promises using a uh, Swelt JS templates. Okay. So let's say I'm writing on function async. Function fetch Pokemon. This is async function. How I can wait for this async call through the template? All right, that is interesting. So I can say is let's show Pokemon equal to fetch Pokemon this we are calling and now i can use this show pokemon in the template how i can just use async await await and show pokemon i can await i can wait for this promise to be resolved if this promise is resolved then i will do is we will get some data let's say i got the pokemon and if I got the Pokemon, then I will use the data. Maybe I have received an error. 
so we will deal with the error and this is the closing of a weight right it's like a chain now here let's say we are making a call so we can just say okay uh, making api call blah 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 and we got successful response that means we can play with the data of, of whatever the data we have received let's say we have received pokemon this is pokemon is an object from this we got artwork okay and let's say catch catch is an error so we have to show invalid message or anything show pokemon we are making api call then dot then we got the pokemon from the resolved promise we are we received the pokemon object we are displaying the information if we got any error like through the catch error then we will show this and the wait is closed now let's uh, work on this api call and we also need to pass the pokemon name okay so now we can write a simple form what that form will do is it will be just a pokemon fetcher form and we can simply bind the value with uh, our pokemon attribute and here we have a simple let's say okay and here we are going to call by default with for pikachu here the name by default is also pikachu I mean, you don't need to specify default if we are passing Pikachu here. So this is a simple API. What we are going to do with this API is await. Uh, we can simply use fetch and the API URL if we know. So this is predefined API. Okay, API.co, I think this is some URL. and just pass your url here i mean the name of the pokemon so it can fetch the details about the pokemon okay then we need uh, we are going to accept this json serialize this json using response.json and we are going to get the two properties name and sprites and we can get the artwork i mean this is how it looks like sprites is an object we are going to receive from this api from their official artwork and then and then front default i just got this mock json i'm just trying to get the value and from this we are going to re return two things name and artwork artwork is actually just an image so we got the name dot other official artwork and it's a front default okay let's see this identifier name is already this defined let's use it as a cocky mon okay it was just like the attribute mismatch now it should work you can see we can see the image of the pikachu because i was using the different objects then i checked the api how it really looks like this is the public api and you might you will see a lot of pikachu and pokemon examples from my videos also it is sprites and then from there we got the artwork we are returning this so this is really nice example right how it is working we are able to manage this async we can do a wait then then we got the data we extract the data if there is error we are catching it and i'm also printing it so i want to know like why that pokemon was not being shown so that is happening here and we can simply pass this and search this so it will again make an api call and here on the on submit so we are going to submit the form on submit 
prevent default and we can simply call fetch pokemon okay this is a simple example which is showing the routing and uh, couple of new things about the swell js like how to deal with async await and you can await through these simple expressions in the swell js this is really nice i really like this because let's say we are doing all these things in simple plain html we can track the api call track the error track the data 